Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we're going to talk about different types of variables, their types and how you can assign them. So today we're going to discuss about identifiers and numbers. And here, as you can see, I have written in the previous video, we discussed about what are the naming rules or conventions that we can use in order to write identifiers. So the first one is they should only be named with a to z with upper or lower case letters the second thing was we we can use underscore in between or in the start or at the end of our identifier names and the third thing was we can also use digits in the naming of our identifiers but the only restriction is that we cannot use the digit in the start of an identifier okay we can use the digit in between the identifier name but we cannot start a name of identifier with a digit so here are some examples that we have written that are valid examples of how you can write the identifier names okay so this is basically identifier one and it uses all the lowercase letters and here's the one which uses uppercase letters and an underscore and here's the one which also contains underscore digit and small case letters so these are all valid ways to write identifier names now let me talk about a bad example of identifier names okay or variable names and here you can see if i uncomment this and save it it's giving me an error because and if i click on the line line 20 and if i click on the error it's going to take me to line 23 so as i just said in the beginning of the video that identifier name cannot start with the digit okay so that's why it's giving me an error if i say identifier let's say if i save it or start it with a character i and underscore one then it's gonna save and not give me an error okay as you can see it saved and it didn't give any errors so let me comment this again so let's look at the second scenario in which we are using exclamation mark in between the identifier name now if i save it it's again gonna give me an error because we cannot use special characters in between the identifier names so if i remove these special characters and save it it's gonna save without error okay so let me save and as you can see it saved without any errors so let me comment this one as well let me uncomment this and here what we are doing is if we save it it's again gonna give me an error because we are using a hyphen in between identifier name so you should make sure that you are always using an underscore instead of a hyphen in your identifier name so that it doesn't give you any errors so now if i save it it's gonna save uh okay it's saying the identifier one is already there so that's why it gave us an error because like we already have identifier one uh named here so if i put double underscore now it should save it without any errors and as you can see it saved without any error so from here you can also understand that we cannot use same name for our identifiers and also identifiers are case sensitive so if i say a is equal to one and a is equal to one these both are two different identifiers and they have both have different like uh, they have both have same value but i can change it as well so now if i save it it's gonna say but if i change this capital a to small a it's again gonna give me an error because i have used a two times it says a is already uh, identified or defined okay so let me just change this back to a now let's see how you can write numbers okay so here i have written integer number and that is from one two three four five six seven eight, nine and we can also use float numbers the float number is written here as one two three four five six seven eight nine point you can take it to as many 
numbers you want to after the point as well because this is basically a float number we can also use big float numbers using e small e or big float number using capital e okay both of these mean the same all right and here you can see 6.02 raised to uh, into e raised to power 23 okay so this basically means 6.02 multiplied by 10 raised to power 23 and we can also use small or tiny float numbers by the same way using e capital e or small e so here it says 1.6 e negative 19 which basically means 1.6 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 19 which is basically the charge on electron if it's relevant or not okay so in the next video we're going to talk about strings and boolean and other types of variables that are available to us so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them and please consider subscribing so that you can get our updates of upcoming videos and you can also visit the playlist of pine script tutorials i have put the link in the description so that you can get started on pine script from the beginning you can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about pine script and price action trading see you guys in the next video thank you